with the people. You're the best police chief this town has ever had. Oh, come on, Frisco. I was certainly the least appreciated. Do you know, I'm, I was a public official, and I had to answer to the people of Port Charles, and I got some of the questions wrong. Well, how are you supposed to trust the judgment of idiots? I lost their trust, totally. Without that, I couldn't do my job. Have you heard how Duke's case is going? No. I don't care to hear either. Aren't you the least bit curious? No, I'm not. I don't care. I see. Oh. What's the matter? You've been crying. What I is know. it? Uh, just, just a little. What is it, darling? It's just that all my friends are so mean to me. Even my best friends. I don't know what to do, Mommy. They say such awful things about you and Uncle Do. This is why I don't care what's going on in Bolian. Frisco! Hey! Hi! How was my favorite Hello. 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 How come you didn't come to say goodbye? Because I didn't go yet. Well, I am tomorrow. Uh, what are you talking about? Imagine running into you like this. <laughs> well, now that you're here, you want to go say hi to my wife? Hmm? Um, Let's go. Okay. Uh, uh, here, <coughs> Robert. Uh, hey, you know, Felicia called and she said to stall him here. You win some, you lose some. Yeah, what about you? You're early. I mean, you just might have wanted that excuse. Oh, you got excuse. Oh, you got excuse. Shh. Are you so high, Grandpa? Shh. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on, man. It's dark in here. Maybe it's the wrong place. No, I just need some light. Right! Bon voyage, W.S.P. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna. This is your bon voyage, Italia. Godfathers never forget, honey. I believe that uh, Felicia's the blame for all of this. You really fooled me. Where's your mother? Oh, we're supposed to meet her at the restaurant. Yeah. Uh, she's running a bit of an errand, but she'll be here later. Listen, why don't we move that side and talk to other people? Yeah, let's do that. Come on. Look who's here. your teacher now? She thinks she knows everything about me, but she won't even explain it to me. She won't, huh? Well, hey, uh, you guys mind moving over? No, we're gonna exactly. show uh, her no. a little bit about music here, all right? Here we go. The car battery died and the auto was on their way to pick her up. It should be here in a little while. Okay. But I See? still don't get it. Where is A and C? I can never remember either. I still can't read music. And how do you play? Well, it's easy. You just use, like, numbers. Like math? Yeah. Here. You got C, D, E, F, G. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's easy. So, like, C is one and E is three. Right. Yes. Maybe that's it. See? Listen. Maybe the numbers correspond to the melody are what we're looking for. You know, Robert, your daughter's got uh, quite a talent here. Listen, do you understand what he's teaching her here? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, can this be done with any melody? I mean, like, converted to numbers? Sure. Very good. Maybe you and I should have a little talk. You can, you can play with Uncle Frisco later. Oh. We will. Let's see what they got in there. Excuse me, excuse me, my little chickadee. Oh. Oh, this is great. Oh, I love Grandma. I'd like to say, can I, could I interrupt here for a second? There's a lady getting out of her car outside that's very interested in seeing you. Who would that be? Mommy! Oh. I've missed you too, honey. Mommy told me you were in that prison. How'd you get away from it? 
Well, I was just lucky, I guess. Well, that's because you're so smart. Right, Mom? Right. Now I have my favorite godfather back. Well, you bet you do. I have to apologize. I know I'm a little behind in my godfatherly duties. <laughs> the, uh, the movies, we have to catch up on all the movies. The zoo, probably. And... Well, yeah, we could do all those things now. But there's one thing that I'm very, very confused about. Well, join the crowd. Well, I guess you're confused, too. Me about Felicia. Yes, I am confused. I know when she married Colton that you're supposed to be dead. So what happens now? What's supposed to happen? Well, you know, Robin, I don't have the answer for that. But somebody's going to get hurt, probably. And it may be all three of us. See, huh? Now, you know who the three people are that are involved. And you love them very much. So I think we should just let them sort it out, don't you? I know, but how? I mean, I don't want any of you to be hurt. Would you look at you? You know, when I left here, you were about this tall. You have turned into quite a young lady, haven't you? Turn around here. Look at this hair. What do you call this when it has the waves and stuff? A perm. A perm. <laughs> I see. Well, <clears throat> now that you're a young lady, you know that grown-ups don't always have the answers, right? Yeah, I know. Can you tell me what it was like in that prison? Darling, no. Well, maybe I'll tell you. Some other time, okay? Okay, I understand. Yeah. I can tell you this much, though. Every time I lay down in prison and I think about everybody here in Port Charles, mainly you, I always thought about the simple things, you know, like what mommy was burning for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> or what part you were playing in the school play. You see, that's what I want to hear about. I want to hear what you've been doing, huh? Well, let's see, um... I'm learning how to ride a horse. Well, you know, I used to be in the rodeo. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you can go with me sometime. Well, I'll have to saddle up real quick. Okay. Come see my riding boots. They are so gorgeous. They're made in England and everything. They're a present <clears throat> from Mom's and Catherine's friend. Mm -hmm. You know, he's from South America, this big polo player. Well, show me these here boots, young lady. Okay. What's this guy's name? Senior Claudio. Claudio Maldonado. Uh-huh. Anything, wear anything, for goodness sake. Wow. <laughs> what a change. I guess you call that maturity, right? Uh, yeah. She just takes 20 minutes to decide what she's going to wear all the time. Yeah, I sort of noticed. Well, you know, pretty girls like that have to set their standards. Mm. I guess Tony's going to be home from the hospital soon. Yeah. You mind if I go over there with you? Oh, no. Fine. Somebody called about you earlier. Scott Baldwin. He's a lawyer, and he's just left the DA's office, and he said that he'd handle your divorce if you wanted. We don't need a lawyer, Anna. I just thought you ought to know he'd offered. There's nothing complicated about this. There's no property. I mean, there's not even a disagreement. It's you, you file the papers, you walk away. It isn't that simple, you know. You know, he's not such a bad person. When I first met him, we were on opposite sides, but he's really helped me It's a lot. paperwork, okay? We don't need a lawyer. This is going to be the hardest thing you've ever done, Frisco, and I think you ought to face it. You should just go over there and talk to him about things. I've got his address. Just give him a call. Just ask him. Just talk to him. Mom... I looked through my whole closet. Every, all my clothes are piled up on the bed. There's nothing to wear. Wear that. You look great. You sure? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's great. Okay. Well, we're going to Kelly's. Do you want to come? We're going to have lunch. Will you come? Please, please come. I would, but I have a meeting with a lawyer. A lawyer? What for? Never mind. I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. Well... Maybe you can come to lunch with us and then... We'll meet Chris go at Tony's, all right? Okay. No. Just a minute. I have to go get my purse, okay? Oh, yeah. Good. There's all sorts of things. Uh, uh Frisco. Hi. Everybody alive here? Yeah, 
Why don't you come in and see for yourself? Sweetheart. Hurry. I miss you so much. Well, I miss you too. It's really nice to see you. Don't say that again. Ah, uh, I get your drink. You still hustle the brandy when I'm awake. <laughs> we kept about a liquor store in business. I can never forget that. If you guys recall, I was uh, part of those wasted nights. I'd like to yeah, forget them you, all. Yeah, but you never bought your. Well, rambo. that's true. I'll get your that's brandy. true. I'll help you. <laughs> You suppose, you suppose the spies come in from the cold? Maybe. We put a light in the window and pray. Okay. It's good to see you. Well, thank you. I wasn't too sure about that. Uh, I'd, uh, I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine, Catherine Delafield, uh, Frisco Jones. Hello, it's very nice to meet you. How do you do? I've heard a great deal about you. Is that yeah. so? You have good taste. I understand you're quite a musician. Well, then we're even. I heard you sing the other night. You were incredible. Thank you. You okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, a little bit of bother, but the three of us took care of it. Yeah, we went into action as a team, just like the old days. I gotta go. Thanks for the drink. You. you have to go I mean, so soon? And... Yes, I do. I have to get over to Terry's club and I promise to help her and I never break a promise. Frisco, I never get to see you anymore. Well, you will. Okay? Okay. Need a ride in the club? No. No, I'm used to traveling alone. I think we all got that message. See you. Yeah, see you. Bye, Fisio. Have fun. Hi. Hi. Come in. This is my house. Do you remember my house? I wish I did. <laughs> I bet you remember those. I don't know. I wish I did that, too. Well, you know, I was a little mixed up, too, about a year ago. But my mom and my dad and my Uncle Duke and all my friends, including you, they hugged me and loved me until I was better. Well, I don't remember that, but uh, I, I'm glad. Well, that's what we're going to do for you. Just hug you and love you until you're better. <laughs> well, there is one thing I do remember, that you'd have to be very lucky to have a friend just like you. See, I knew this was a good idea. I think it was a great idea. I uh, think it's a great idea if we uh, leave Anna and uh, Phoebe alone to get acquainted, huh? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, weren't there some pictures from Montreal in the kitchen? Yes, there were. Would you like to see them? I would love to see them. Me you too. Want to okay. Is that where you've been all this yes. time? Yes, it was so fun. A long time since I've I I been in Montreal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping you could stay. I, I thought maybe I could tell you some stories about your past you might remember. And... Oh, well, I think we'll have time to talk real soon. Okay. I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay. Right. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. It's nice to meet you. Don't worry. He'll be lots better. And then you'll remember all the fun stuff we used to do. And we could do some new fun stuff, too. Better go. Yeah. Colton has to catch a helicopter. Bye. 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 How are you? Good. Oh, hi. Well, hello, hi. sweetheart. How are you? Hi. Hi, thanks. Are you going tonight, too? Well, I wouldn't miss it for the world. What are you going as? I'm not telling. You have to wait and guess. <laughs> I have to guess. Yeah. Well, simple. You're going as the prettiest girl in the world. Aw. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Don't you have your costume yet? Yeah, I got our costumes, as a matter of fact. Thanks for reminding me. I got the wrong pants. Kind of orange or something. Who, who are you taking with you tonight? I'm taking Felicia. When'd that happen? Just now. Why? Uh, no reason. No. We didn't know she was going. That's all. She's going all right. I'll tell you this much. By the end of the party, she'll remember who she is and who I am. Guaranteed. Um. See ya. Yeah. Bye. 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 Hey, 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 Robin. Hi, 
Uh, welcome home. Well, Hello. thank you. <laughs> you don't seem very surprised to see us. Well, I knew you were coming. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, yawn, yawn, yawn. Did you miss us? I sure did. Well, good. Well, your mom's been away. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, you are? Yeah. I see. Well, um, well where are you going? Is there anything that we can do? You don't have time to talk to your favorite godfather or anything? How have you been? Not. Well, I'm hungry. What would you like to eat? Uh, how about chili at Kelly's? Chili at Kelly's? Mm. Sounds good. Well, uh, yes, we'd be glad to join you, by the way. Wait for us. I hope you've got money. That is a great story. Well, it's true. I even had the hangover to prove it. Well, if you ever want to write a book, you've got a great thriller there. <laughs> Ruby, we're satisfied just where we are. We're mm -hmm. staying home for good now, and we're going to eat here every day. That's for real. Scout's honor. Well, then, that's good news, and I'm glad. Isn't that terrific? Yeah, it's great. I think I'd better get you your chili. You still hungry, kiddo? Yeah? I don't know why the hell you leave those keys to... Hi. Oh, hi. Uh, welcome home. Yeah, it's good to be home. Yeah, thanks. How's the boat business? Oh, funny he should ask. Yeah, it's hysterical. You got a problem? Oh, some derelict. Oh, I tried to take off with one of our boats, and I took off down the docks after him, but he was running like an Olympic runner. Uh, with a set of boat keys? Really? Did you get a look at him? I might be able to help you look for him. Well, you a big guy, uh, dark hair. Uh, well, uh, uh, it kind of simple, if you ask me. Mind if I join this chase for no, a minute, honey? We should probably. Here. Yeah, here we hmm. go. There's your chili. Oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Is something wrong, sweetheart? Oh, I don't feel very well. I have to go home. Oh, let me take you home. No, no, no. I'll take her. You stay here and wait for Frisco, and I'll run her home. Is there somebody there, sweetheart? Oh, and yeah, I just need a ride. Well, then you got it. Thank you. Well, I can do it. No, 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 I need a breather. You just stay here, and somebody wants more coffee, there's plenty there. Come on, sweetheart. I'm going to okay. check your mom. I'm going to show you the shortcut, uh -huh. okay? Uh-huh. I'll be delighted to find a new way and a shorter way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll get you right. I'm so glad you're oh, home. Sure, what's up? Sure. Oh, everyone's home. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Oh, he... Felicia. Oh, home. Oh, I got it. <laughs> You'll see her later. Okay, come good. here, come here. Let me have a look at you. Oh, let me see. Oh, you grew. You grew again. Don't yes. grow anymore. You can't find any more clothes. Come, tell me how you are. Are you all right? Oh, I'm great, Mom. Yes? I wish I'd known you were coming here. I would have gone there instead of... Huh? Instead of what? Oh, nothing. Okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's, uh, well, he's out and he'll be back soon. He wants to see you. Is he with Catherine? I certainly hope so. <laughs> right. I thought about you every day, Mom. I wanted Did to be you? there with you. Oh, well, you were in spirit, in a sense. Yeah. So how's prison? School. <laughs> yeah? Well, I got an A in algebra. You did? How yes. did you do that? Uh, <laughs> it's terrific, though. So, Mom, uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't I look okay? Yeah. I really am, okay. right? It's good. Yeah. Where's your rock? You know, the thing you carry around? I didn't think you'd ever be without it. Um, I don't need my crystal anymore. Yeah, tell me about this crystal I've heard about. That's not important. Okay, I want you to tell me all about your tour. I didn't get a chance to talk about it before. Well, my touring days are over. What? Mm hmm You bombed? Oh! Bombed? <laughs> oh. I'll have you know that I was a roaring success all over Europe, all over, everywhere. Everywhere. Well, then how come? Because we want to spend more time at home with you. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. Okay. I want to hear everything. The audiences, the concerts, where you stay. We will what talk you about saw. this later at dinner. You eating here? No, um, Sean's taking us all out to Deeks. Yeah. Oh, great. Is Daddy and Catherine coming too? I hope so. Unless they want to be alone. Well, they could do that after dinner. Well, then. Well, you have grown up, young lady. Very fast. Listen, uh, I hate to leave this lovely company, okay. but I must be going. Will okay. you walk me to the door? Yeah, yeah we'll I see will. you later on. Okay. Thanks. This man here. Uh, two times. Uh, no, three times. That Casey was here three times, yeah. That you know of. That's right. <clears throat> the man from the security company doesn't even know who Casey Waters is. And you're telling me that this man was here three times in this house, and you took him over to Tony's. Can you explain this, darling? He did it. That's all. What does he look like? 
Oh, nice looking dude. Dark hair, good build. Mostly I remember his eyes. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Everything checked out. I am awfully sorry for any mix up, Miss Lavery. We like to feel we take real good care of our customers. But listen, whoever this Rogers guy is, I think maybe you should talk to the police. Thanks a lot. We'll take it from here, okay? Okay. okay. Sorry right. for the trouble. Yeah. Ah, this way, please. Are you sure you never heard of this PC guy? We should say something. Well, I'd like to say something. This guy fits a description of somebody who tried to steal a boat last week from Max Marine. Casey wouldn't steal. So you do know more than you're saying. He wouldn't steal, that's all. Son, come here, come here, listen to me, listen. You have got to tell me what is going on here. I am very worried. It's not like you to keep something from me. What is the matter? Mom, there's nothing to worry about. Please don't keep saying that. Let's take a little break here, shall we? Hmm? No, I, I really need to talk to you. I her. think you guys have talked enough today. You want to get some ice cream with, uh, old Frisco? At Kelly's? Yeah. Sounds great. Good. Except I'm grounded. Robin, sometimes you have to handle things the way a man would. Can we get some ice cream, please? <laughs> yeah. Let's go before she changes her mind. Chocolate, vanilla, all the chocolate. So how's school? Fine. What's your favorite class? Um, math. Well, that means you're either going to be a rocket scientist or an astronaut or a belly dancer. You know, for somebody who hasn't seen somebody for a long time, you're awfully quiet. Maybe somebody has nothing to say. All right. Well, at least we can be thankful for having a beautiful, bright spring day to spend together. You know what they say about spring? Who's they? I don't know. So what do they say? I don't know that either. Look. How about that? You can see Spoon Island today. Hmm? Now somebody wants to ask somebody about Spoon Island. Is that obvious? Sorry. That's okay. Your mother's not okay. She's worried about you. She doesn't have to worry. I told her that. There's absolutely nothing, zip zero, she has to worry about. Are you sure? You know, Robin, there's not a parent in the world that doesn't warn their children about being careful about strangers. Now, you hardly even know this Casey guy. Casey guy. I know that he's kind and he's innocent and he's sweet and he's no danger to right. me or I anybody believe else. I believe you. I no, believe you, you don't. You don't understand. Well, then maybe you can help me. Now, from the way you and Olin describe this guy, he looks just like somebody who tried to steal a boat from Max Marine. Maybe... Maybe he had a good reason to do that. There's no reason for stealing. You're a big girl and you know that. trying to tell you is that we don't want to see you get in a situation that you can't handle. No one understands. Well, you may find this hard to believe, but when I was your age, I said the exact same thing. No one understands me. And did they? for that ice cream? Okay. Did you see him? Oh, that guy, uh, that uh, Casey guy. What happened? Well, where is he? Come on. You stay right here. Robin. I was so worried about 
you. Did you find the crystal? At Kelly's. Well, then why didn't you... People got angry. No. I'm worried about you. Where is it? I'll find it for you. In a box. A box? What kind of box? Yeah. Oh, why don't you stay with Robin? I'll go see if I can find him. Yeah. Uh, so aren't we going? Where? To Kelly's for ice cream. Right. Okay. But God already. I'm sorry. Robin, honey, do you have any idea why Casey would want to steal a boat? No. I mean, did he say anything to you that might give you a hint? Sweetheart, you're the only one that knows Casey. We're just trying to help him. Then why won't they let me see him? Because you can't go in there, darling. You're a child. Don't they, they let Chris go in? Why can't well, I see him? Can I take you out to lunch? No. I have to be here. I need to remember him. Did he act like he wanted to leave poor Charles at all? No. Did he have any reason for hiding from anybody? That's not important. Casey's scared. 